take a look at this. This is the actual, a copy of the actual notes that this astronomer made back then. You can see he circled the moment that the sound happened, even wrote the words, wow. This is the wow signal, a mysterious radio burst detected in 1977 that has puzzled scientists and stoked dreams of alien contact ever since. It wasn't just noise. It was strong, clear, and unexplained. Some believe it could have been a message from another civilization. Even astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson has reflected on its meaning. Just because we want it to be true doesn't mean every radio signal from space that we can't immediately understand. For decades, the signal remained a cosmic enigma. But in 2025, a breakthrough reignited the conversation, offering new clues that could change everything. In this video, we'll explore what the signal was, where it came from, and why, after all these years, it still refuses to be forgotten. The Discovery of the Wow Signal To understand why the Wow Signal is so intriguing, let's rewind to the night of August 15, 1977. It was a quiet evening in Ohio, and the Big Ear Radio Telescope, a massive instrument the size of three football fields, was silently scanning the cosmos. Astronomer Jerry Amon was running routine observations when he noticed something unusual. It wasn't just another blip in the data. This was different. A string of characters stood out on the printout. 6EQ UJ5. It was a signal 30 times stronger than the background cosmic hum, specifically at 1420 megahertz, a frequency tied to hydrogen, the most abundant element in the universe. Without hesitation, Amon circled the strange sequence with a red pen and wrote, wow, in the margin. That single exclamation would go on to define the most baffling cosmic event of the century, sparking debates and theories that still echo today. What made the signal so remarkable? First, there was the frequency. 1420 megahertz is considered a universal calling card in the search for extraterrestrial intelligence, SETI. If intelligent beings were trying to communicate with us, they'd likely choose this frequency, as it corresponds to the natural emission of hydrogen atoms. The signal's narrow bandwidth and precise frequency were also key indicators that it wasn't just random cosmic noise. Unlike the usual static from stars or gas clouds, this signal was sharply focused, lasting exactly 72 seconds, the precise amount of time the telescope's beam took to sweep across the sky. It suggested that the source might be fixed, possibly even artificial. Yet after that one fleeting moment, the signal disappeared. Big Ear's team pointed the telescope back to the same spot repeatedly in the following days, but nothing, silence. The wow signal had come, and just as quickly, it had vanished. While this alone wasn't proof of extraterrestrial life, it was enough to ignite a firestorm of speculation. The WOW signal had captured the imagination of scientists, enthusiasts, and even the public. But why hadn't it returned? What was its source? Why the WOW signal was so special? The WOW signal was unique in several ways, making it a standout event in the search for extraterrestrial intelligence. To begin with, its frequency, 1420 megahertz, was not just any random frequency. It was the same frequency at which hydrogen, the most abundant element in the universe, naturally emits radiation. This made it the ideal universal frequency for extraterrestrials, as scientists had long speculated that alien civilizations might use it to communicate. Moreover, the signal's sharpness and narrow bandwidth set it apart from the usual cosmic noise. Unlike the broad spectrum of radiation emitted by stars or gas clouds, the WOW signal was focused and clear, further hinting at a deliberate source rather than a natural one. Another peculiar feature was its duration. The WOW signal lasted precisely 72 seconds, the exact time it took for Big Ear's beam to sweep across the sky. This suggested that the source of the signal was fixed and not something random, like the transient pulses from a pulsar. This focus, intensity, and consistency made the WOW signal the most exciting piece of evidence in the search for extraterrestrial life, at least until it vanished without a trace. Now first, like always, be sure to hit the like button down below. It helps us out tremendously with the reach of this video. Thank you. Theories behind the WOW signal. Naturally, after the WOW signal was detected, 
Scientists and dreamers alike began to speculate about its origin. The first and most exciting theory was that it might have come from an alien civilization. The characteristics of the signal, its narrow bandwidth, its alignment with the hydrogen frequency, and its intensity were precisely what SETI researchers had been hoping to find. It seemed like a cosmic hello from an advanced civilization, sending a message across the stars. However, there was a problem. The signal never repeated. Despite numerous attempts to detect a similar signal from the same region of the sky, Big Ear remained silent. If it was indeed an extraterrestrial message, why hadn't the aliens repeated their transmission? Some proposed that it might have been a one-off broadcast, a fluke in the cosmic radio waves. Others speculated that the signal could have been a form of communication that was simply beyond our comprehension. Other theories emerged as well. Some suggested that the signal could have been caused by interference from a satellite, a military transmission, or even a rogue radio operator. Yet none of these explanations seemed to fit the specifics of the signal, leading many to believe that it was something far more mysterious. The Comet Theory In 2016, a theory emerged that suggested comets might have been responsible for the WOW signal. Antonio Paris, an astronomer, proposed that two comets, 266 p Christensen and P208Y2 Gibbs, might have been near Big Ear's line of sight on the night the signal was detected. According to Paris, the hydrogen gas emitted by these comets could have created a burst of radio waves at the exact frequency of the WOW signal. The idea was that the hydrogen-rich comets could have burped this signal, causing it to appear as a strong, narrow-band burst. At first, the theory seemed plausible. After all, hydrogen is a common component of comets, and the signal was aligned with the frequency at which hydrogen naturally emits radiation. However, upon further investigation, Paris's theory fell apart. The comets in question weren't in the exact region of the sky where Big Ear was pointed that night, and their emissions wouldn't have been strong enough to generate the intense signal observed. Additionally, the characteristics of the signal didn't match those that would be expected from comets, further ruling out this theory. Military and Satellite Theories Another popular theory that surfaced after the WOW signal was detected involved military satellites or spy operations. Some believe that the signal could have been the result of secret military transmissions, possibly from a satellite designed to cloak its presence. After all, the 1970s were a time of intense Cold War espionage, with both the United States and the Soviet Union launching various covert operations. However, there were several issues with this theory. First, the frequency of the WOW signal, 1420 MHz, was protected by international treaty as a quiet zone to avoid interference with radio astronomy. Military signals typically operate on different frequencies, so the chances of a military satellite transmitting on this protected band were slim. Furthermore, Big Ear's design was intended to filter out any local interference, including signals from satellites and planes. After thorough testing, researchers ruled out this possibility, leaving the signal's true origin still unknown. The Magnetar Hydrogen Cloud Theory In 2024, a breakthrough in understanding the WOW signal came from a team studying red dwarf stars at the Planetary Habitability Laboratory in Puerto Rico. While investigating potential habitable planets, they discovered faint narrow-band signals at 1420 MHz, similar to the WOW signal. The team theorized that a magnetar, a neutron star with an extremely powerful magnetic field, emitted a flare that interacted with a hydrogen cloud, causing the hydrogen atoms to emit a sharp focused signal at 1420 megahertz, known as stimulated emission. This combination of a magnetar flare and a hydrogen cloud could explain the WOW signal. How this theory fits the WOW signal when we examine the magnetar hydrogen cloud theory in light of the characteristics of the WOW signal, it becomes an increasingly plausible explanation. First, the frequency of the WOW signal, 1420 megahertz, matches exactly with the natural emission frequency of hydrogen. This is the first major piece of the puzzle that aligns with the magnetar hydrogen cloud theory. Second, the signal's narrow band nature is another crucial clue. The WOW signal was sharp and focused, Unlike the broad, smeared signals emitted by most cosmic phenomena like pulsars or supernovae, the interaction between a magnetar flare and a hydrogen cloud could produce this kind of sharp, narrow-band signal, 
making it an ideal candidate to explain the wow signal. Third, the intensity of the wow signal, 30 times stronger than the background noise, also matches what we would expect from a magnetar flare interacting with a dense hydrogen cloud. Magnetars are known to emit extremely powerful bursts of energy, which could easily generate a signal of this magnitude. Finally, the signal's brief duration, 72 seconds, fits with the behavior of a magnetar flare. These flares are short-lived, and once the flare dissipates, the hydrogen cloud will no longer produce the intense signal. The WOW signal remains one of the most tantalizing mysteries in the search for extraterrestrial life. While the magnetar hydrogen cloud theory offers a plausible explanation for its origin, it doesn't eliminate the possibility of alien contact entirely. The signal's legacy continues to inspire curiosity and scientific inquiry, reminding us that the universe is still full of unexplained wonders. Whether it was a natural phenomenon or a message from an alien civilization, the WOW signal has forever changed the way we look at the cosmos, and it's a reminder that the search for answers is never over.